Hey everyone, how are you doing? Thanks for coming back. Today, I'm staying at home. I'm going to be doing a bit of tinkering in my workshop. I'm going to be building a whisper beacon using a Raspberry Pi to zero, which is this, and also a little UPS to keep it alive, which is this. So stay tuned, see what I get up to. Cheers. So here we have it, the Raspberry Pi 02 to give it its correct name. Low power computer, long, low form factor, low size and low power draw, which is ideal for what I want it for. You can see it has an HDMI port and it's got two uh, micro USB ports. On the top are the GPIO pins, which we're going to be using to connect it to the UPS. So here we have the UPS, it's a 3.7 lithium ion cell with USB-C for recharging. At the back we can just see the on-off switch and these are the pins that are going to connect us to the Raspberry Pi. These are what are known as pogo pins, so you can do it with this. They, um, I don't know, the springs are all good. So they connect to the bottom of the GPIO pins. UPS light. I got this from Amazon. I'm not 100% sure if it's a genuine part, but it works and that's the main thing. So here we go, it's all put together. It's got its little UPS hat on. The uh, pins, you can just see you can see how they're being pushed down by the pins above them. That's what might be the GPIO pins pushed down. Uh, it's quite a nice little compact unit. I think you'll agree. <laughs> yeah, so happy with that. I know that the software runs. Um, this isn't going to be about installing the software. I've installed it before. Um, I was testing it on a, uh, a much larger battery pack. So I'm going to bung it together. And I'll, I'll show you the uh, I'll show the finished products outside. Ready to rock and roll now. So the Raspberry Pi is booted up. I have got a red light on the back of the UPS to say that it's producing power to the Raspberry Pi. Also, because I'm charging, I've got a green LED there. The red and black cable are going to the antenna and they connect to pins four and five of the GPIO and all I'm doing is running that into a bit of a coax which will terminate in a whoops BNC connector at the other end. Okay then yeah BNC connector at the other end. Stop biting my nails. Enclosure wise then I'm just going to be using a random bottle that I seem to have a lot of in my cupboards. I've emptied all this stuff out of it into the bin because I'll be honest that's pretty much all it's good for. Hopefully this all gives a bit of waterproofing. So zero, we're going to there, the lid will go on, we'll be all good. Look at that, thumbs up. So we've got the enclosure and we have the aerial which is basically BNC to banana plug to a couple of bits of wire which is going up there. Oh, it's my fence and all up to that tree. Has it gone? There it is. So, yeah, pretty simple setup. I'm not expecting incredible DX today. We'll see what happens. All right, so we're not running a GUI. Um, like you'd expect in WSJ text, we're just running a putty session using Shell and we're running Whisper with my call sign, my maiden head indicator and for two um, frequencies I'm interested in and the amp stand at the end is just put it into the background if you're wondering, um, that means that I can dis disconnect the Shell session and it's going to keep running. So, started a while ago, I've got a bit of gubbins down here, we've got the packet contents which is my call sign, my locator, my power and the two frequencies again. 
NCP will be used to periodically calibrate, means that it's just going to tweak it for the um, timing that uh, Wispy needs. And this is the first two packets that went out. Let's look at what we've got then. So it looks pretty good. The red dot in the middle is my QTH in the middle of England. The green dots are where I've been heard. Oh, it's not bad. That is on um, 10 dBs. So that's that's a very, very small signal. Um, you can't get much out, much more out of the um, Raspberry Pi Zero. You can see I've got all the way down to, was this? Blurry. Is that Canaries? That's Canaries. All the way to Norway. And into the middle of Europe. So that is on a Raspberry Pi Zero running 10 dBs in my garden at shoulder height. It's it's not a high powered antenna, it's not a high powered radio, but it's doing a, cr a cracking job. So thanks for joining. Hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. What I'm going to try next is get a bit more height on that antenna. I'm going to see if I can hit the States and some more further flung parts of Europe. So uh, stay tuned. Um, if you like it, please hit the bell, hit the like and hit the subscribe button. Thanks very much. Same for me.